In this video, you'll learn how to add a filter by color option to your WooCommerce store using our Yith WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button if this video was helpful to you and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss content like this in the future. Now to filter your products by color, we have to add a color to the products in the first place. We do this via attributes in products, attributes, and you can see in my example, there are already a couple of, of other attributes in here, but for your site, this might be empty. We can add a new kind of attribute by adding a name for it on the left hand side. I'll call mine color. We can leave the slug field empty and simply click on add attribute. And now we have to add a couple of colors by clicking on the configure terms link and adding the colors by typing in their name like this. We can again leave the other two fields empty and click on add new color. Now I repeat this for, for just a couple of them. And as soon as I'm done, we can, we can move on. Of course, again, you can add as many colors as you'd like and call them whatever you want to call them. So now we have set up our attribute. We added the color attribute and we also added a couple of terms or colors to it that we now can assign to our products. To do so, we move over to the all products menu item and we can go ahead and simply select the product we'd like to add the first color to. Now we can add the attribute to our product. To do so, you can navigate to the product data box below the editor, pick the attributes tab and select the attribute you like to add, color and add. Now we can add one or multiple colors to our product. I'll pick blue, click on save attributes and then on update. In your own store you might want to add an attribute to more than one product so in my example here I'll add the color to a couple of more products as well. Okay now next we move over to Yith and the Ajax product filter menu item. Now on this side you can create your first filter preset. Think of these presets as kinds of collections of filters you can use in different places on your site. You can add your first preset by clicking on the create a new preset button. Now we can start by naming our first preset. I'll call mine men and I can add a new filter by clicking on the add a new filter button at the bottom. I give my filter a name, I call it color, and I'm going to filter by taxonomy. And I do this because the color attribute we've added before is handled by WordPress as a taxonomy. Then I go ahead and choose the right taxonomy, color, and I can add the different terms we've added before, so the different colors. I can either do this by typing them in one by one, or I can press the add all button to add all the colors I've added before. Now we can change the filter type. By default it's set to checkbox, but for colors, color swatches might be the better option. You can change the number of columns, and now we have a box for each and every one of the colors we've added before. As you can see, there's a label and a tooltip for each and every color. And I'll make sure that I have the name of the color in both of these fields. We can change the color in this field by using the little color picker in here and make sure that it matches the color we, we named it after. So we are going to add a tooltip in here and set the colors for each and every one of them. 
You can also add more than one color per option. So if you for example want to add a dual tone option like black and white, you can click on the add color link in, at the bottom, pick the second color tone and then you have two colors in one option. If you instead like to add a texture, a pattern or maybe a color gradient, you can upload an image instead. Now before we save this preset and move on, there's one more option we should take a look at. It's allow multiple selection. If we switch this to on, customers will be able to pick more than one color to filter your items. You can select between two modes. One is and, in this case, let's say for example the customer picks red and blue, only products with those two colors uh, will be displayed. And if you pick or, then all red products and all blue products will be displayed. So pick the one that suits your case, click on save filter and save preset. Now it's time for our final step. We want to display the filter in the front end so our customers can filter the products. We do this via a widget. Let's move over to appearance and widgets. Here you can pick the widget you'd like to add to your sidebar. We are looking for Ajax filters preset and we can choose the sidebar in which we want our widget to be displayed in. This might vary based on the theme you're using. In my case, I'm using the Proteo theme, so the default sidebar is the one I add this widget to. You can pick the preset you want to be displayed here, but in my case, I only have one preset and it's automatically chosen for me. Now that this is done, we can switch over to the front end of our site and take a look at the result. Here you can see it on the left hand side in the sidebar, there is our color filter. And when I click, for example, red, the products I added the color to will be filtered in here. This is it. This is how you create a filter by color with our Yith WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. If this tutorial was helpful to you, please leave a like or a comment below and I'll see you next time.